Hi, it's Doc and Skip, brought to you by American Pride Roasters Coffee at AmericanPrideRoasters.com. UFC champ Ronda Rousey is apparently going to star in a movie, a remake of Patrick Swayze's movie, Roadhouse. Nobody's going to want to come to a slaughterhouse. Yeah, she's going to star as Dalton, the NYU-educated philosopher who has never lost a fight. It's really simple. I want you to be nice. MGM is apparently already meeting with screenwriters, and they're supposed to start filming next year. Be nice until it's time not to be nice. How am I supposed to know when it's time not to be nice? I will tell you. Gotta tell you, I really like the Ronda Rousey. She met with Patrick Swayze's widow to make sure it was okay that they're doing the movie. Okay, now it's time not to be nice. Thank you, although that was nice to do. Eh, meet with their widow, what is she gonna say? Don't do it, do it? What is, why is she a part of this? It was a movie. He got paid back in the day to make the movie. <laughs> we have another story about another security incident with the TSA. I'm not gonna be nice. I, I can't be nice. Last week, the Washington Post accidentally published a picture of the TSA master key they used to open all the luggage locks. <laughs> you can just make a key from the, the picture, right? Is that, can't you just make a key from it? They've 3D printed the keys now. Yeah. It's amazing with technology now that a photograph of a key can be 3D printed, distributed all across the world and completely destroy the TSA security. Coming soon, the TSA will teach you how to make your own key fobs. I'm 3D printing a rapist scan right now. Cops in the UK pulled over a car and they noticed that a 16-year-old passenger was acting uncomfortably. What? Well, I understand. He, I mean, it could be nerve-wracking getting pulled over by the cops. He had 28 something. packages of heroin in his ass. 28? Yes, 28 packages of heroin in his ass. I wonder if he had more, but like got to 28 and was like, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> So 28's the limit? That's that's what you think it was? That was enough? Well, he's only 16. He probably hasn't trained much. Guys, I, I'd like to be able to smuggle these 30 bags of heroin. I just can't do it. 28's my limit right there. What's he going to do for like an applicator on that? What is with people using their body cavities as a pocket? See, even if back in the day you thought you could get away with it because they didn't realize you'd do something so ridiculous, cops now know that people stuff stuff in body cavities. So at this point, just stick with your pocket, okay? Stop putting things up your butt. Are they buying a lot of clothes without pockets? I mean, buy a purse. Hell, at this point, get a fanny pack. It's trendy. Thank you to AmericanPrideRoasters.com for being our sponsor. If you would, check out our morning radio program at TheBlaze.com slash Dock and Skip. Dude, I really don't think I could do more than three or four.